Hi everyone, and welcome to this Let's Make video. Uh, today I'm going to be walking you through how I create my interaction systems in the Unreal Engine. Uh, I'm currently using the Unreal Engine 4.10, and this is the third person template. Uh, if you'd like to follow along, you can use whatever template you'd like. Just note that we are going to be using the camera to drive a lot of this uh, character choice on what interaction to pick. Um, so having control of the camera is uh, needed for how I'm going to do it. Uh, you can kind of change that to be based on the player's direction instead. Uh, I just like using the camera for that kind of thing. I feel like I have more control, uh, and it works a little bit better for interactions. Because of this video's scope and length uh, being quite large, I'm going to be breaking it down into chunks. Um, this is not only for uh, you guys, just to help kind of keep everything in smaller sections, um, but also for me, as creating this all in one go would be uh, much more difficult. We're going to probably be covering around an hour or two of content. This video is just going to focus on being an overview. We're going to check out how the system works, kind of what drives it before we actually get into creating it. As always, the system is probably not perfect, uh, and there are bound to be better ways to create an interaction system, but this is just kind of the way I like to do it. So before we go any further, let's check out the interaction blueprints and kind of how the system works in general. I'm going to jump over to this cube here. Uh, this is actually our parent interaction class. You'll notice on the right we have all the blueprints shown uh, that we will be creating in this tutorial. Uh, the first one here is the interact parent, uh, and the next three are child classes that are based off of this parent. Uh, we're going to be creating all the interaction code, the heavy lifting inside the parent, and derive from it so that we can do different things. Uh, you can see here this one is going to be a pickup. Uh, this one here is the elevator, and we also have a switch. You can see all three of these in the editor. Uh, this one right here, we're just using a sword mesh uh, for the pickup. Uh, the switch right here turns the light on and off, uh, as well as anything in the uh, level blueprint we want to interact with. Uh, and the elevator here will just go uh, up and down. You also notice that we're using the third person character that comes with the template. Uh, again, you can use the first person character and that will work just fine as well. Next to it, you'll see that we have this uh, interact UI class. This is a widget blueprint that we're using as the pop-up. If I zoom in on uh, the parent class here, um, you'll see that it has a couple different spots here, a um, couple different vectors that we can move around. Um, something I'll note is that there is a bug in 4.10, at least in my version, where this widget doesn't line up with uh, any of these offsets. So as we're moving these offsets around, uh, it's a little annoying, but nothing game-breaking. Each one of these offsets, of course, is just a vector that we've allowed uh, the movement to happen in the editor itself. Um, we're going to be setting all of this stuff up here, but you can kind of see how this is uh, set up for us. Uh, we have the ability to change a lot uh, based on each individual object itself, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, of course, you'll want to be doing most of those major changes in each class and subclass. Uh, but this allows the designer to kind of tweak anything that needs to be tweaked. So before we go any further, let's check it out in action, just so you can kind of see what we're going to end up creating. So once I'm in a uh, range of an object, I can turn the camera and I can look at each individual one. Uh, because I'm in the radius for each object, I'm able to pick up or interact or turn on any of these uh, interactions as long as the camera is facing them. I'm doing this through a dot product. And what that means is that this camera's forward vector, if you imagine the line going straight forward from the camera, uh, is compared against the location of our camera and the location of the object. So imagine a line being drawn from uh, the camera location to each of these three objects that are nearby. Um, the dot product will take those two vectors uh, and it'll compare them together to see if they're close enough to being the same. Um, that outputs from negative one, meaning it's directly opposite of it, uh, to one, meaning it's the exact same vector. Um, we're going to use that to kind of drive which interaction we should be picking. Uh, this just makes it really easy for the player. They're able to stand in an area with tons and tons of objects and still be able to kind of pick out which one they want. Um, of course, there are difficulties in doing this sometimes, but for the most part, letting the camera drive this interaction I find is much easier. 
So I go ahead and I press the E key uh, that's shown on the UI. I can pick up the object and it gets put into the character's hand. If I move up to the switch, I can turn it on and off. Um, this is a light. It also moves a matinee, uh, or turns on it, plays a matinee from within the level editor. Turning it off will reverse that matinee. Uh, that's just done through uh, event uh, handlers. Uh, the parent class doesn't actually do anything, and this is uh, perfect. We don't want it to. Uh, we don't necessarily need the parent class to be in the game ever. Uh, it's just kind of this base class that does nothing, but has all the heavy lifting. So when I press the E key, uh, it is being activated. There's just nothing for it to really do. It doesn't have a use. Um, whereas the elevator being a subclass, then it just uses all the code from the parent class and does whatever an elevator does for us. Uh, when I did this pickup system, uh, we didn't really create an inventory, so this is not really the best way to do an interaction system for pickups. Normally you'd want an inventory, a way to equip stuff, a way to drop stuff, uh, but in our case we just have it uh, pick up, uh, put in each hand, and then I have the R key which drops the object, so I can drop each one. That's kind of something you can expand upon. Create the inventory, create the uh, extra stuff needed for that. Uh, but that's a little bit out of the scope of this tutorial. Um, just picking up, picking them up and kind of uh, parenting them to the character skeleton uh, is what we're going to handle. That about wraps it up for this overview. In the next tutorial, we're going to be starting off by creating the uh, parent interaction class. This is the class that we can create and derive all of our children classes from, uh, making creation of extra uh, classes and components and things much easier. See you then.